Today we are going to learn to prove that vertical angles are congruent um, and all sorts of different types of angles are congruent. So essentially today's lesson is on proving the congruency of angles. And to do this we need to learn about four angle types. Vertical angles, adjacent angles, complementary angles, and supplementary angles. And we're going to also learn to prove and apply theorems about angles. First of all, we want to talk about some types of vertical uh, types of angle pairs. The first type is vertical angles. Now, vertical angles are angles whose uh, pairs form two sides of opposite rays. And the nice thing about this is that the opposite sides are actually congruent. So we'll mark these with our congruency signs to show which sides are congruent to which sides. Okay and we will learn about that with our vertical angle theorem. The next um, type of angles we want to look at are adjacent angles. And adjacent angles are two coplanar angles with a common side, a common vertex, and no common interior points. So we have angle one here is adjacent to angle two and also makes up a linear pair. Angle one here is adjacent to angle two, but does not make up a linear pair as we learned about in our other previous definitions. Another type of angle are complementary angles. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Okay, And so we could have angle one plus angle two adds up to 90 degrees. Okay. Now these angles might be adjacent angles or they could be just angles that um, are non-adjacent like these two angles if we said they were complementary. Okay. So two types of complementary angle patterns that you might see here. Another type of angles is supplementary angles, and again, these could be adjacent or not adjacent. So I could have an angle that looks like this combined with another angle that looks like this to make up uh, supplementary angles. And with these angles, angle, the first angle plus a second angle add up to 180 degrees. Okay. Now let's take a look at um, this thing here and see if we can find some different patterns of angles. If I were looking for vertical angles, I could say that these two angles are congruent to each other. Let's name them angle 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. Um, angle 1 plus angle 2 add up to 90 degrees. Those are complementary angles, right? Um, angle 1, 2, and 3 together are supplementary. Okay, And those are all adjacent type angles, um, but they are uh, they just have different combinations that you can see in them. And so learn to practice and make conclusions from diagrams like these. Example 2 in your book gives you another example of a diagram that you might look at. Now let's talk about proving theorems true. Proving theorems true requires a few things. We need deductive reasoning, which includes our laws of detachment and syllogism that we learned in uh, the one of the previous lessons. It also requires showing a set of steps, and that is what we call a proof. And then we also need to know what we're seeking to prove. And what we end up proving is called a theorem. So what you need to know to prove that theorems are true is you need to know what you know, which we call givens. These are things that we know at the beginning of the problem. We also need to show what we want to prove. A lot of times a diagram helps put a picture to our words and then we list the steps to our reasoning which are called a proof. So 
it might look something like it. Given angles 1 and 2 are vertical angles, prove that angles 1 and 2 are congruent. Okay? We're going to work through some um, exercises in class rather than just showing you a proof um, right off the bat. Uh, you can see one example in the text if you want to look at them. Um, but we are going to prove several uh, theorems in class as part of an exercise. So, um, don't miss that day. Now, one of the theorems that we're going to prove is that vertical angles are congruent, and this is called the vertical angle theorem. And we alluded to this earlier, but if I were trying to look at this, I could say angle 1 here is congruent to angle 2. Okay, And if I had some expressions that were with these uh, angles, I could actually find out what their measure is. So say this is 2x plus 5, and this is 7x minus 4. I could actually set 2x plus 5 equal to 7x minus 4, because I know that these angles are congruent. And when I subtract 2x from both sides, and add 4 to both sides, I get that x, 5x, is equal to 9, so x is equal to 9 fifths. When I plug that back in to, when I substitute that back into either of the uh, angles, I can find out that they should equal each other. So 2 times 9 fifths plus 5 will equal 18 fifths plus 25 fifths, 18, 25 fifths is the fractional equivalent of 5, and so 25 plus 18 is going to be, um, let's see, 43 fifths, so this is going to equal 9, or sorry, 8 and 3 fifths degrees. So not a very big angle there. And we should get the same thing if we plug that uh, 9 fifths into the other angle as well. Okay? So very, very acute angle there, but that's a come in all types. Another couple uh, theorems that we're going to prove in class, but I wanted to introduce you to so that you knew what we were talking about before we start the proofs are the congruent supplement theorem and the congruent complements theorem. With the congruent supplements theorem, we're talking about if two angles are supplements of the same angle. So I've got angle 1 and angle 2 are both supplementary to angle 3. If angle 1 and 2 are both supplementary to angle 3, then angle 1 must be congruent to angle 2. Likewise, with the congruent complements theorem, if angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary, meaning they add up to 180, with angle 3, then angle 1 and angle 2 must be congruent. And this may seem very logical to you, but these are things that we still need to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. And um, that's what we will do with these lessons couple more theorems that we are going to talk about are the congruent complements theorem part 2 and 3. Part 2 says that all right angles are congruent. So if you have two 90 degree angles, those angles are congruent to each other. And then part 3 says if two angles are congruent and supplementary, then each is a right angle. And here's the picture to that. We have two angles that are congruent and they add up to 180, then each of those must be a right angle. Okay. Now we're not going to prove these in class, but um, we are going to prove the first three in class. So we'll see you in class.